When I was preparing and doing research for this video, I had a hard time picking a topic when it came to Dory. All Dory ever really talks about, even in her voiceovers and law pieces, is Mora. But then I found something pretty interesting. When you look at her funky design, one of the first things that might catch your attention is the genie she has in her lamp. It lets her rest on itself during her idle animation and can even be called to attack and cast elemental skills. At first glance, you might automatically think, well, that's just her vision. But in reality, her vision is more related to her love of Mora, while this genie is a whole other thing entirely. Before we get into that, however, if you want to see more Genshin Impact content, do consider subscribing. We post weekly content on lore and other stuff as well. Anyways, thinking that the genie is actually a manifestation of Dory's vision isn't something that I can really fault you for. I mean, we have had this occur before with another character. When Fischl first got her vision, it's implied very heavily and even confirmed by Oz himself that he was created by Fischl and her vision. So this wouldn't be the first time a seemingly sentient creature was created through the power of a vision. Despite this though, the genie is actually a separate entity altogether. See, the story behind how Dory met this being goes something like this. A while back when she was traveling, she happened upon this spirit on the road. The spirit, for no other reason than just wanting to satiate its hunger, wanted to eat her but she instead convinced it to listen to her story and if it was interesting then she would be spared. The spirit was confused but curious nonetheless and agreed. She told the spirit a story about how a merchant facing hard times found a magic lamp among their possessions. After rubbing the lamp, a genie of red smoke appeared. Because the merchant reminded the genie of its daughter, it granted her wish, which the merchant promptly used to wish for the ability to earn more mora in the future. Long story short, the merchant in the story goes on to make a lot of money with the help of the genie. Dory then showed the hungry spirit the magic lamp she claimed to have stored the genie long ago. As it listened to the story, the spirit got more confused. The description Dory gave of the genie in the story was similar to the spirit itself, which made the spirit believe the genie must have been something similar to it. But it recalled it had no such ability to cast magic or grant wishes. Dory then mentioned to the spirit that it indeed had this ability, but in order to attain the same powers as the genie, the spirit had to enter the same magic lamp. Convinced of this, the spirit willingly entered the lamp. Through some unknown method, this is how Dory tricked the spirit and trapped it. This same spirit is what we presumably see she summons in and out of battle. Now this story is told by Dory herself, so she might very well be lying, but her character story number 4 actually continues this story from the perspective of the spirit. Much later on, the spirit freely admits to having been tricked into entering the lamp. So why did it stay? See, every so often, Dory will summon the spirit to assist her in combat, or for some other reason altogether. But each time she does this, she repays the spirit by granting it one of its wishes. From the perspective of the spirit, the story was actually backwards. It isn't the spirit that grants wishes, but rather the owner of the lamp who has this ability. Now what exactly the spirit wishes for, we don't know. But seeing as how it was a human eating spirit, Dory might actually be giving it some really screwed up stuff. But in any case, if the spirit wasn't brought forth from her vision, then where does her vision come in? The story of how Dory got her vision actually goes even further back into her past, and it's kinda tragic. Basically when she was younger, Dory had an older sister. Their family was poor but they were happy. Her sister though unfortunately contracted a sickness, the cure for which was extremely difficult to get as well as expensive. Because they could not afford it, her sister succumbed to her sickness and Dory realized how important Mora was. It was at this moment that her ambition to make as much Mora as she could manifested. She wanted to have as much Mora as possible so that she and her family would never have to suffer leaving things to fade. Whether it was mercy, pity, or the strength of her ambition alone, this was when the gods granted her a vision. Dory appears as this greedy, self-centered, and money-hungry merchant willing to go to any lengths in getting Mora. But really this came from a place of insecurity and the feeling of helplessness in not being able to save her sister and help her family. It's yet another story where ambition and dreams, regardless of whether it's a positive or a negative one, drives an individual to gaining a vision. So in reality, Dory has had her vision since she was practically a child and way before she met the spirit now residing in her lamp. What this means is that even while having a vision, she was easily able to trick the spirit without resorting to her most powerful weapon, a testament to her skills and prowess as a salesperson. 
But that does it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed this little deep dive into Dory. I had a great time researching it and learning more about her. Hopefully you are lucky in your summons if you're trying to get her. If you did enjoy the video, do consider subscribing and liking the video. And as usual, have a nice day.